Hey there, and on tonight's teardown, we're going to tear down this Ryobi 18 volt circular saw. It let out the smoke, and so now it's time to see whether or not it's a lost cause or maybe we can repair it. It's a P501, five and a half inch, and you can tell I've had this for about 12 years because it's blue, and they don't make blue tools anymore. So, either way, let's get to it. All right. Here we go. Let's start with removing the blade. Let's see, turn to tighten. Okay. There we go. Actually, does the blade lock on this even work still? Oh, I guess it did. All right, next. Let's undo all these screws, shall we? It's a lot lighter once uh, there's nothing on it. Looks like pretty large brushed motor. So, this all came off pretty easily. There is a little rubber piece right here on the inside. Where does that go? I guess that's for pressing up against these cables. All right. Fancy switch. An adapter to switch between directions. How does that guy work? Oh, because it blocks it otherwise. Got it. Oh, wow, interesting. This switch actually has studs. So you can remove the wires and use the switch over again. Look at that. Super handy. That is awesome. Okay. Of course, more Ryobi contacts. And, uh, I already know this motor is busted because it shot the brushes out at me and a big cloud of smoke. Alright, so now we're at the gear, so you've got a bunch of grease and your latch here, when you press on it, actually locks into one of these four to keep it from rotating. And there is 
his uh, bearing in here. Some type. And then, oh, barely turn this motor because the, the brushes are so melted in there. Everything in this is destroyed. Let's pull off this gearbox. It's really cool, solid gear. Oh, crunch, crunch. It's a lot of shielding. Could probably pop off this back metal case nah that'd be a lot of work but either way this failed and so it wasn't working anymore finally gave up the ghost after too much cutting i did end up buying the brushless version of this and uh it's awesome the power is absolutely amazing so i do recommend getting the brushless version of this saw um, but maybe not a 15-year-old blue one. Although, to be fair, I mean, it lasted 15 years. That's a lot of cutting for a circular saw, especially when it's only meant to run off of 18 volts and predates lithium batteries. I think the lithium batteries probably did it in with all the power they had, but either way, it's pretty good. If you wanted to try and salvage this, you could probably heat this up, pull it off, replace the motor, press it back onto the new motor that you replace it with. I think this is, it looks like a bigger than a size 400. It might be like a 600 or something. I really don't know exactly. But you could replace this motor and then rebuild the entire thing and it would be good to go again. Um, probably would run great. Well, I hope you liked this video of me tearing down this Ryobi circular saw. I think ultimately what killed this was sawdust getting into the motor housing and between the brushes, heating up, basically causing a fire and then melting the whole thing back there. So is it Ryobi's fault? I don't know. I mean, it, I bet a lot of the non-brushless motors are constructed very similarly. I think it was more I was just being careless with sawdust. I also use this saw very hard. It even helped me build the house I'm in. So it's gone through its paces. Either way, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I'll tear down something next week. Thanks.